All right, let's welcome back David and Sly now. You can say what you want about Idaho State. They're an FCS team. They've struggled this season. But really, yesterday's game for BYU is probably as close to a complete game we've seen all year, and it really started with the defense. Yeah, those seniors really had a day, didn't they? Um, but it, uh, it was a slow start for that offense, but the defense came up with it. Zach Wilson's first game back, so he's trying to shake off the rust. And sure enough, their first three possessions didn't do much of the ball. But defensively, they come up with a huge play to provide that spark. Uh, to this point, the whole stadium, it was, it was, it was pretty dull. It, there, there wasn't much emotion in it. But credit goes to senior, Austin Lee, on senior day, come up with a big play. But how about this, Chris Wilcox, the cornerback, he's been injured all season. He comes in because of the redshirt rule and does a great job of getting his upfield hand in the mesh point of the receiver, goes up, pops the ball up, and then once again, Austin Lee, senior, goes in for the big touchdown, gets BYU on the board, 7-0. But it all started with Chris Wilcox. We talk about Wilcox, we talk about DB play, and the great thing he did was he went with his upfield hand, right? A lot of guys tend to go and lunge with their downfield hand. You don't get quite the distance you do with your upfield. He goes, like I said, in the best point, pops the ball up, interception, BYU is driving. So, uh, or got in the end zone. So great play by Wilcox. Great play by Lee by being around the ball. Comes up with seven points. Yeah, but another CN, Dion, he had another interception as well. Yeah, so BYU defense came to play, like we said. This next play was a great job by Dion, but really a great play by another senior in Austin Kofensis. And this is a guy who's been a running back. He's been a safety. He's now playing outside linebacker for BYU up here up top. Again. He does a great job, once again, upfield shoulder, but it's a great job of baiting the quarterback. Dion gets the interception. Senior day, another guy with a great memory that will last forever. Uh, but right here, Austin Kofensis down low, baiting a quarterback, act like he's going to go out the swing route, comes back inside, puts it up, and the dime with the concentration, the ball hawk himself, comes up with the interception and uh, tries to take it back to the house. But Kyrus Tonga, big guy, get out of the way, Kyrus. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. He's trying to load the stats. He's trying to pad his stats on that one. <laughs> get another tackle, right, right. <laughs> with, the, with the stats. But even with how bad this, the, this offense started, they eventually picked up steam. And Zach started to shake off a lot of the rust. And we see this play here to Talon Shomay. Once again, another senior coming up big on senior day. This is going to be a simple fade route. But what I like most about this play is where Talon Shomay lined up. He Gave lines himself. up inside the numbers. Mm -hmm. And we know his defender slide. If somebody's outside the numbers, we just body him out to the sideline, right? Because the sideline's an extra defender. It's an extra defender, exactly. Yeah. But this play right here, Shomay's inside the numbers. He knows he has the extra yardage to be able to kind of make his way towards the sideline. This is an easy pass, easy catch in the sense that Shomway is a big body receiver. He goes up and high points the ball, goes up and gets at his high point, beats the little DB, and comes down with the reception, the touchdown. Huge play for him. He actually had two touchdowns on the day. High points it as well. What you want to do is give yourself an opportunity to catch the ball. If you're too close to the sideline, then you're out of bounds, and Zach Wilson has a small window to get it. If you line inside, then you have the whole, the, uh, the bottom of the numbers all the way to the sideline to work with, and work. that's a great job by Shumway on there. But also, the redshirt freshman got in on the action, too. Yeah, Sione Finau, first 100-yard rusher on the season for BYU, came against Idaho State, but still... I love this play because you look what Sione Finau did here. His vision, but he's got to give credit to his big boys downfield. Freeland blocking downfield. Wake up top is going to pick somebody up. And then Talon Shomay, the guy who already has two touchdown receptions, blocking downfield as well. But look at his vision. The cutback was open all afternoon. Cuts back, but right here, look at his footwork. Puts a foot in the ground, cuts back upfield. This is a young guy who's really developing, in, and I like him because he's more of a scat back for BYU. He's only, they have him at 185, but that's soaking wet. I mean, the, <laughs> the kid's only probably about 175, but he's got some speed to him, and he's got some vision as we saw, some cutback ability. So it's fun to watch him progress because he's becoming BYU's feature back with all the injuries that have happened this year. Um, it was, and he was a guy last, or yet last night that uh, BYU need to rely on. And like I said, first 100-yard rusher of the season. Nice to see BYU get on track. Head to UMass, a very, very winnable game. But then they kind of are trying to uh, get ready for that San Diego State game within the year. Yeah, nice to see the future shine a little bit on senior night with the uh, Finau there. As you mentioned, two more games left before they go to Hawaii.